guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button, turn on the location, and give me a huge thumbs up. Sorry about the screen. Now, let me say what I was saying. Today we're going to be drawing a pumpkin, and not just any type of pumpkin, we're drawing a jack-o'-lantern. So, the first thing you're going to do is, I've got my Sharpie here, you can use whatever you want though. You're going to make, in the middle of your paper, just do a big like circle kind of, like a C shape. Doesn't have to be perfect though. Just like me, I'm not perfect. Then you're gonna do another C shape on the other side, connecting to those lines, like it's overlapping kind of, so draw that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make like, make like an S shape, two S shapes, shapes actually, right at the top of the pumpkin. Then, you're going to do a line going down, connecting up. Then the same line, but going above it, making the top of our pumpkin. Now, we're going to add, like, we can add a little leaf if you want. Two lines on the outside, and then a big hump in the middle. One line there, one line there, and one line there. Just like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a line right here coming from the bottom of the stem and you're just going to make it like swirl a couple times like that just like that don't worry about anything else sorry it's just the background then what you're going to do is you're going to go from the top and do the same shape then what you're going to do is you're going to make a triangle and make that two triangles. One second. This will be one for me, but you guys don't have to wait that long. I'll be right back. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a line, like a triangle shape going down, but don't connect it at the top. Do that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do another of the same line four times in a row, like that. Okay, so do that. Good job. Now, let's go down and up, and then down and up, doing the same thing that we just did on the bottom, and connecting our lines. Make sure to connect your lines, otherwise it won't look good. Let's just do that. Okay. Now you've done that, you can draw a line here, two lines there, and just do lines through them, like that, kind of, making the edge of it. Same in the mouth, lines here, and just go like lines, lines, okay, draw that. Did you do that? Perfect. Now, if you want, you can add a couple more swirlies. I know I am. And then you you don't have to by the way. But I okay. Now that you've done that, you're gonna do one line going right outside of the eye and the mouth. Did you do that? Perfect. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do another line doing the same thing and then a line going through the mouth and the eye. And connecting at the top. Did you do that? Good job. Did you do that? Perfect. Now, if you want, you can add some lines up here, small lines. And then, if I were you, I'd add, like, a little leaf here. Like that. And then, right under it is... A swirly thing I don't know what to call it but yeah a swirly thing <laughs> and then you might want to draw just up in the corner like a big sliver and then like like that have you done that Wow and then I almost forgot about our last secret step. 
be right back with our last secret step. And our last secret step is coloring. You don't have to color exactly how I did. That's just how I colored it. You can color it however you want. A rainbow pumpkin, a black pumpkin, a spooky 